Hey guys, welcome to another episode of the Oak Mountain ACODs. It's Jason here. Um, we've had some cold weather over the last few days and this afternoon it broke and uh, the sun was out, things were warming up really nicely and we thought it'd be a good opportunity to come out this evening and uh, get the firewood processor ready to go for spring. So normally I fold this conveyor down and put it up for the winter and tarp the machine. You probably saw that in one of the previous videos. I've unfolded the conveyor and uh, locked it into place and now we're just going to check some engine oil, check the hydraulic oil, and we're going to start it up and run a little bit of wood that we've got on the table there that we had from the fall. We're going to run that through and just make sure everything is working right for spring. So stick around and I'm going to show you a few things about our firewood processor. So we always change the oil in the spring of the year to give it a test and make sure that everything is working well. We're just going to check it. We've got oil in the machine. I'll be changing that when things warm up a little bit more. We've got lots of gas down in here. There's a little five gallon jug here, it's still three quarters full, that's fine. We're gonna come around here and we're gonna check our bar oil for our saw. Uh, they recommend that you keep this jug over half full. It's full, I filled it up uh, last fall before I put things away. And then we're gonna step around here and we're gonna have a look at the hydraulic fluid. Hydraulic fluid uh, sight glass is right in here. And the book tells you to make sure that you have uh, about 50% of that sight glass full of hydraulic. It's down a little bit, but it's only three degrees Celsius here. So I think that it's gonna expand as things warm up. There's hydraulic fluid in it. So we're gonna start it up and warm things up. Okay, so this machine comes with a Briggs & Stratton uh, Vanguard 23 horsepower engine. This is a four stroke engine and uh, I'm a Honda guy and I really wanted to have a Honda engine on it, but they, they told me that these Vanguard engines are uh, really reliable and I've really got no complaints to date with it. Um, and we've run the machine for about two years now, really with no issues. So I'm starting to think that Vanguard is a pretty good engine. Let's see if we can get it started up. A little choke, a little fuel. going to let things warm up. You can see that as soon as I start the engine up, the outbeat conveyor will turn. Uh, so we're going to let the hydraulic circulate and warm up, and then we're going to ramp it up to speed and start the process of firewood through it. So this will be a little bit noisy, but I'll speak up. We bought a Hacky Pilt Raven 33 firewood processor. Um, this is something I picked up down in Nova Scotia, about six hours away from where we live and they are imported from Finland, I believe. Um, this machine is capable of handling logs up to 12 inches in diameter. And of course, if you want to spend more money, then AccuBilk has bigger and bigger units that you can buy that will handle very, very large wood. But for our purposes and for our wood lot, we decided that this machine was at the right price point that we would be able to bring it in and, uh, and use it on our trees that we have currently available to us. And Karen will pan over there and show you the size of our wood. But we're running around uh, 4 to 10 or 12 inches in diameter. So this machine is perfect for us. If you ask me the capacity of the machine, I'd say that I can process about a quarter an hour with it. So we bought this feed table at the same time. It's a Hacky 422 model. Uh, basically, you have to use gravity to let the log come down uh, of the rack. But it does have drives over here. Uh, that will actually drive the log onto the firewood processor. And so you can see down there that they've got uh, those cylindrical tubes with dogs on them. They're hydraulically driven and uh, the logs will sit on those and come onto this in-feed conveyor that comes standard with the machine. So the other thing that we've got is really simple. You've got a nice guard here for protection and uh, it's there for a reason. I have had wood bounce back from the splitter uh, with a great deal of force. So I recommend always keeping this down. Uh, this is basically a unit that allows you to set the length of your firewood. Uh, so there's the stop that you use to set the length of the firewood. Of course, you've got your chainsaw, fire, and saw blade here, hydraulically driven. This is just a holder for the log, so it's weighted, and as they come in, it puts a little weight on the log and helps it uh, maintain friction on the belt to feed forward. And then if you look down in here, 
basically we've got a four-way splitting blade and you can buy bigger splitting blades like six ways and maybe even eight way for this machine but we only need the four-way blade on this the other thing that you can do with this lever you can adjust that splitter blade up and down basically for the size the diameter of the log that you're running through you can raise and lower that to the right height so that you can get uh, pretty uniform splits off of your round. Okay, so this handle runs everything and basically you pull down to cut your log and then uh, your 16 inch or your 18 inch piece of wood will fall down in and it's ready to be split. And when you push up on that handle, it activates your splitter ram to force the wood through the, uh, through the splitter and out onto the conveyor also advances the log up to the stop so that you're ready to cut your next piece. I figure I have about a four second cycle time from cut to cut and uh, I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos on different processors and I think this is a pretty fast machine compared to everything else that's out there. Now of course the more money you spend the more production you can get on an hourly basis but like I said this is a pretty capable unit uh, for the price point that we get it at. So I think what we're going to do is uh, turn the engine up to, uh, to its working RPMs, load the piece of wood on, and uh, see how everything works. Okay guys, so a little bit about this conveyor. Uh, you can see that there's a clean out here. And you can see some trash right there. So uh, this conveyor actually has a little self-cleaning option built right into it. And uh, I see some of the other processors, they put big grizzlies on this to clean the wood out. This one has a nice little feature that starts that cleaning process for you. And then of course you can buy those attachments and add on to it later. I've seen like barrel rollers and all sorts of different cleaners that you can get for these. Now the other thing I wanted you guys to note is this was just a little bit of wood and we dumped it on the ground. We're going to use it right over there in the evaporator for maple syrup. But uh, what we normally do when we get set up to run wood through, um, we will bring the backhoe over here, that Komatsu 150, and we will set the bucket right underneath this conveyor. And uh, it takes about six backhoe buckets loose off of this conveyor for us to rank up one quart of firewood. Uh, and so that just takes all the work out of it. What I found is uh, your production efficiency is all about removing bottlenecks. And so the firewood table helps to remove bottlenecks because you don't have to stop and spend time loading each log pole into the firewood processor. It's right there for you to continue to put into the blade and process through. You don't want to touch that wood any more than you have to. So if the backhoe is sitting here and you're free dumping into that bucket, I can take it right around and put it on the ground and we only have to touch it once then to pile it up to make sure that uh, we get the proper yield and the proper measure for our customers. Because if there's one thing that I've learned, your customer is always right and you want to make sure that you give them a full quart of wood when you're making that delivery.
Okay guys, so this was a bunch of black cherry odds and ends that we had left over from processing some logs and from cutting some burls out for some customers. Um, I had set it up on the firewood processor just so I didn't lose sight of it. I thought it would be a good, uh, a good sample for you guys to show you what the Hacky Pilk is capable of doing. And I hope that I'm pronouncing that right. Maybe some viewers from Finland could actually correct me if I'm not uh, pronouncing uh, the name properly. Um, so we've got, I don't know what that would be. Would that be an eighth of a quart of firewood that we processed through quickly? You can see that I had to handle it a lot, that it was three and four foot long sections. It's not like those nice uh, eight, 10 and 12 foot long sections of uh, wood that we've got ready to go through as the snow melts and things warm up. Uh, but you can see that this is quite a capable little machine. So, uh, you know, I'm, I'm open to uh, questions and comments about my experience with the processor to date. I think that we've probably put through 70 to 80 quart of firewood with it over the last couple of years. Not big production, but for what we're doing here, uh, it just takes all the work out of it. I see a lot of guys uh, out there that are running chainsaws and uh, then manually picking everything up and running it through the splitters and uh, hey, I get it. That's the way you start. But eventually, if you can work it into your budget, you need to move up to one of these machines because uh, you will increase your production and your efficiency many many times over so it's well worth the investment so like i always say guys if you like uh, what we're doing here and you like the videos that we're making hit the like button subscribe share the videos with your friends and help us grow the channel and come on back and check on us often because you never know what the oak mountain acots are going to be up to next we'll see you in the next one